Hey everyone, it's TB Shores. It's April the 6th, 2021. It's 1031 p.m. I wanted to try to pick back up where we left off in that last video. We were discussing um, more on the 6th and 9th hour. The separation that's taking place as judgment comes to the body of Christ today. We saw how this time of separation, this drawing a line in the church, the body of Christ today, is based, it's based, simply put, it's based on who is walking in the spirit and who is walking in the flesh. That's it, simply put. Now, I was going to discuss some things and elaborate on that a bit. Um, but the Lord told me no, that I had already covered all that needed to be said about that in past videos. And he's talking about this series I've got in front of you right now. Um, the name of this series, I thought it was showing on the screen here, but I guess it is not. The name of this series, there it is, there it is, is Church Judge, excuse me, Church Judgment Begins With You, Wise and the Foolish. Okay, the Lord taught me a lot of stuff uh, back when I was doing this set of videos. Now it is 56 videos long, but it is full of things that the Lord pointed out as things that as Christians we need to know about our walk with him just to put it simply um, there's a lot of interesting things in there things I never um, would have thought about in, in a lot of ways so if, if anyone has any doubts about how God views things there's a lot of information in there that will be helpful uh, I've got it pulled up to this one particular video because it's going to um, uh, be pertinent to what we're going to talk about in a minute. But as we look back over everything the Lord has shown through the sixth, sixth hour to the ninth hour, He's showing us all that took place with the end, that three hour time frame and how it pertains to the body of Christ and events today, okay? Uh, we're going to continue to look at a few more things that the Lord is showing that we can apply from his time on the cross and how it lends understanding to things today. Now, before we get into some of these other things, I just want to mention another set of videos the Lord had me do uh, was called the Three Days of Darkness Study Series, okay? Um, this basically came about because I had heard people arguing that there was a three days of darkness and there wasn't a three days of darkness and I had never heard of it before so I didn't know and rather than lean on other people's understanding or what I thought that I didn't know about it because you know some people have the idea well I've never heard of that before so therefore it's not so you can't look at things that way you have to go to the Lord so I went to the Lord and I asked him if the three days of darkness was of him. If it was true and it was of, if it was of him, I asked him if he would show me. And that began quite an amazing journey in the scriptures. Uh, this series is 54 videos long, but it's got a lot of stuff in it I had never seen before in the scriptures. And... Um, it definitely proved to me that there is a literal three days of darkness that will come upon the earth and how 
it applies and what what its purpose is now since then my understanding in the three days of darkness and the purpose and events within uh, has grown because like with anything the Lord has taught us over time as we learn more about what he has to show us about his plan it expands upon our understanding to where what he showed us a few years before uh, has even a bigger meaning than it did at the time that we first um, it was first brought to our attention because the Lord has to teach us um, certain base things we have to get certain base things uh, to lay a foundation of learning so that as he brings our learning um, our understanding of things to a higher level then what we needed to understand to get there has already the groundwork's already been laid for that so certainly I have learned a lot about this time since then and the Lord even told me and we'll get into this I think we're going to get into this uh, that the three days of darkness um, was the reset button and um, he showed me how that the three days of darkness what we see taking place there and that's over in Matthew 27 uh, I'm not going to get into that right now but for we see trying to see just where that's at but where we see um Jesus was put in the tomb and he was wrapped he was wrapped in clean linen and he was put in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock I mean there there's so many things deeper things within that and many of you already know this that apply to the body of Christ today to the bride of Christ and uh, how that three days of darkness will affect her of course it has an effect on everyone else too but everybody's in a different place spiritually so it will affect people in different ways so my point in bringing this up is the Lord taught me about the three days of darkness and he specifically showed me about how what happened to the body of Christ in this tomb time okay um, the wrapping of the body and it being put in in the tomb that was hewn out of the rock <coughs> and a great stone was rolled to the door he showed me how what happened with the body of Christ there how it applies to the body of Christ today and that brings me to this video here entitled three hours three days well during my study of the three days of darkness um, the Lord woke me as well as I was waking one morning the Lord spoke to me and said three hours is as three days because I've been pondering what the three hours meant well back then he was showing me a different layer of understanding so it was about getting me to understand um, something that he was showing me then but I'm seeing it in a different way today because even though I was showing some things then it was like there was always something that was still hanging in that three hours the sixth hour to the ninth hour <coughs> that I didn't understand and uh, guess what we've been discussing all that so my point in bringing that up is the Lord had told me three hours is as three days <coughs> And what he meant by that, what I understand today as an how it applies to the study I'm doing now, is during the three days, the tomb time, he taught me understanding about what happened to Jesus' body then and how it applied to the body of Christ today. 
So three hours is as three days means. <coughs> and this is something I didn't see back then. That what happened in that three hours. Uh, how I needed to understand that what happened within that three hours applies to the body of Christ today as well. Well, I did not understand that until this study. Um, and I think that has everything to do with uh, certain things are not revealed until it's time for them to be revealed. And seeing the connection that it has uh, to us understanding about the breaching of the wall by this stick uh, and how it affects the body and will destroy this temple, I can see very clearly how this layer of the three hours was not meant to be revealed until now because I would not have understood it back then. It makes every bit of sense now. But as we continue to look at it, I'm hoping I've got time to discuss this. We're going to pop over here to Luke 23. And we're going to discuss some things that has to do with um, what's going to take place with uh, concerning those who have had the stick, I guess is one way to put that. Uh, how we can learn from what happened on the cross there. Because the Lord is still showing us how that applies to what's going on today, okay? But in Luke 23, 34, we look at what Jesus said then. And he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And what the Lord had me to understand from that is that this time... For those who've had this stick, this time from the breaching with the sixth hour, remember the sixth hour is the breaching of the wall, and the ninth hour is the destruction of the temple, destroying this flesh, okay? That time frame in between there, before that flip is switched, oh, excuse me, that switch is flipped, I'm getting all mixed up here, before that <coughs> switch is flipped and the mark is fully implemented remember we talked about those steps that have to be brought together to work as the mark there's a time frame between the breaching from the receiving of the stick to the complete destruction that comes from the stick <coughs> and during that time frame between the sixth and the ninth hour Oh, excuse me. What the Lord is showing here by this, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He's showing that during this time, He will have mercy. He will have mercy. Uh, Jesus called out for mercy for for those in that day. And it will come again. Now, that being said, just as Jesus cried out for mercy, we as the body of Christ, those of us who know, who have a, a, a walk in the Spirit, let's just simply put it that way, we need to be coming before the Father and asking for mercy on these people. Okay, because the Lord is going to show them mercy. We need to be asking for mercy for them and that they will realize they need to call upon him. They will realize the error that they have made <coughs> and call upon him. And I think I'm going to cut this video off here and pick up on the rest of this when I come back. Okay, I love y'all. Bye-bye.